Racism, intentional or not, is still racism. Welcome to Mind Palace. Please subscribe if you haven't already as it really means a lot to the channel. Leave your comment down in the comment section below. This man called the cops on this little 9 year old girl. Whose mother is this woman who happens to be his neighbor? There has been a lot of cases of white cops killing black people. This has been going on for like what, like forever. So this is the whole story. In Cadwell, a small town in New Jersey, a man called the cops on a 9 year old and this was what he told the cops on the phone according to Monique Joseph, the mother of Bobby, the 9 year old girl. And I quote, there's a little black woman walking, spraying staffs on the sidewalks and trees. I don't know what the hell he's doing. It scares me though. You know, Bobby is not a woman. She is nine years old. Joseph added that the man told the cops the person was wearing a hoodie. But Joseph said and confirmed that the hood was not on. So for this part, one must be telling the truth. So it's up to the police to tell the real truth. Was the hoodie on when they arrived or not? This is a really important question I want you to think about. So the police arrived and they resolved the issue peacefully. Remember, everyone has his or her own way of resolving issues. Joseph was not happy and was indeed scared when the police were approaching her daughter. So let me tell you what the 9 year old was doing. She was spraying a formula she learned from TikTok on the trees and sidewalks to eliminate the threat of spotted lantern flies. According to scientists, lantern flies are a danger to trees and plants. What is really shocking is that, according to Joseph, the white man Mr. Loshi used triggered words. This was what she said. It is sickening and scary to hear my neighbor use triggering words that have resulted in the death of too many black and brown children and adults at the hands of the police. These were the triggered words Mr. Loshi used. Black. Hoodie. I am scared. According to Joseph, she said it was intentional. Mr. Loshi knew what he was saying. What I don't understand is that they have been neighbors for 8 years and he couldn't recognize the 5 foot 9 year old Bobby Wilson. Let's assume the hoodie was even on. He couldn't even walk up to Bobby Wilson and be like, hi little Bobby, what is it you're doing? To me, what I think is that, let's say Mr. Loshi is scared to go out and approach this mystery little woman. So he could have picked up his phone and zoom in as close as he can and record whatever that little woman was doing. And then later stand at a distance and talk to her. I think his wife rather decided to record the police and the media afterwards. Something they could have done way earlier to prevent all this. Mr. Loshi refused to talk to the media and even called extra cops on them. This, 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 this is something else. The mayor heard of this and sent an apology message to Joseph and her family. I'm sorry, I, I, I was apologizing for what, um, what you went through and what your daughter went through. Um, it's not something that uh, is part of Caldwell. What I don't understand is that Mr. Loshi claimed it was a little misunderstanding and they have taken his intentions wrongly. And for that, he might file a lawsuit against several people, including Joseph, the nine year old girl's mother. I mean, I don't know how the law works, but this, well, that is all for now. Leave your comments on what you think about this whole issue down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to the channel as your subscriptions means a lot to me. Watch out for more updates and check out more videos.